Hello everyone and welcome back to Close to Be Milkshake. I am your host along with Support Puppet and my Holder, Mr. Chicken. Yes. All right. Today we are going to talk about um, the different reasons why you will be discarded. And I'm going to um, go over a few um, reasons why I have done it in the past. Okay, so um, if there's any other cluster bees on here um, who have something different to add, please do. And um, for everyone who was discarded by a toxic partner, you know, leave your comment on um, how you were, you know, dismissed. All right, so. Number one, the cycle is complete. We are done. The, we have been in the relationship. Um, the fantasy idealization stage is over. We start devaluing you in your mind. That's chipping away at the thing that we thought that you were. We created this for you. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. And over time, the thoughts in our mind make manifest in reality and then you will be verbally um, devalued until it's over. It's over. There's no fucking real idealization stage. There is none. Okay? I haven't fucking experienced that shit. This is why when we come back to you, it lasts like a fucking day. There's not a fucking long thing. One thing my sweetie says to me all the time is like, this is not a love bomb. This is not a love bomb. And I said, no, it's fucking um, forever napalm because I want to love the shit out of you in a continuous forever everness. That is my focus. Um, but for a narcissist person who is unaware, you know, our disorder is like, the fantasy isn't real. It's your fault destroy all right number two a rage episode okay so this is when um the narcissist or um borderline will fucking split your ass split your ass black and um whatever triggered the event when we are in that mode um you are nothing nothing good you have ever done will ever be fucking remembered at all it is all darkness and um you know sewage you are shit and so this is um a time when we will get rid of you yes we can be like oh now, we may not take um, responsibility and we'll do the reverse hoovery shit because for a narcissist, borderline may chase you, but a narcissist, uh, uh, mm, 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 we are so afraid of rejection. Fuck that shit, motherfucker. We may come back and just be like, how are you? Something fucking stupid. We're never going to come back and fucking apologize a shit, you know, for you ever. You know, it's fucking bullshit. We, we don't take responsibility for our shit. No way. Everything is your fucking fault. And we believe it to be true. All right. Number three. Um, why did I write that? I'm going to skip that one. Okay. Um, all you do is complain. This is rightfully so. You are not fucking happy that we weren't, aren't wearing the mask all the time that we did in the beginning of the relationship to get you to see us as all good. This is something that we learned in childhood. Our parents put on that we had to perform a certain way or we would be punished. And punishment doesn't have to be fisty. Or, you know, it could be covertly, you know, um, um, taking you down a notch, making you feel like you're nothing and you want to win back that love and affection. So when you are complaining, 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 you want the thing that we were taught to do for our parent. Now you're seen as our parent and we fucking, we fucking resent the shit 
out of you. Here is usually when somebody's going to go and fucking look for um, something else. We do not like to be alone. Even if we don't have a romantic partner, we'll have shelving. And sometimes we'll use a shelving person um, just as a buffer until we find somebody else. So please don't feel fucking special. All right? Don't. Um, don't fantasize about, you know, oh, um, you know, he was with me for a few months, then he left me for eight months, and now, you know, I, uh, and now I see he's posting songs. Is it about me? No, stop it. Please. I know I'm a fucking um, shit, but sometimes you need to be slapped in the face with reality, all right? And it doesn't mean that you're worthless. You were made to feel worthless in childhood. And this is why you're re-traumatized with us. You really need to work on yourselves to build yourselves up that you never learned when you were a kid. If I have to do this shit, you have to do this shit. If I have to learn my self-worth, my if I have to grow um. Uh, in this empty void and try to plant a seed of fucking light, so do you. All right? So do you. Mr. Chicken's going to slap both of us. All right. Next, um, you're miserable. So you're fucking depressed all the time. That's no fucking fun. You've stopped bitching. You've just become a shell of a person. This, again, we out. We out or we're going to keep you just as a safe space so we don't have to be without because we know that we're just going to ruin everything else out there. Sometimes we're fucking tired and we do not want to fucking mask up for new people, you know, to the um, nines like we did, you know, with every fucking buddy else, especially if we've been with you for a very long time. We're going to keep you as home fucking base. Go be miserable and we're going to fucking bitch at you for not masking up for us. All right. Lastly, we're miserable. We are so fucking miserable and depressed that we're projecting our pain um, for even you to discard us. We're fucking so miserable that we will do things to get you to fucking take off, okay? Sometimes people will cheat and throw their um, cheater, re, fucking side bitch or dude, whatever the fucking, uh, you a side bitch too if you're a guy, whatever, in your face so you will leave us, okay? Please know that even though that this is so painful for you, um, there would be knives involved and prison sentence for me if this was done. But um, if they are doing that to you and trying to make you feel small, it's just projection, okay? They feel small and worthless. And they're going to throw, you know, a new partner in your face to get rid of you. I, please, I don't want you guys to look at us as broken children that need to be saved. No, you can't save us. You can't be our parent. You can't, you cannot, okay? And you don't have a time machine to scoop us away and fucking adopt us yourself. All right? You cannot. What I want you to do is understand the disorder, understand projections, any of that anger and pain that you did not deserve, learning about your own childhood trauma or neglect, um, anything um, that you lacked in childhood that you were hoping to fix through this relationship, and then you found out that you're just going to be reliving your childhood cycle over and over again. This is what's keeping you from removing yourself from that trauma bond is because you're like, no, I can change. I can fix it. Or I can leave. I can glow up and come back and be stronger. They'll see. Or I'm going to learn about all this love and all this shit and fix them. They have to want to fix themselves too. Okay. 
Now, if you do have a willing participant that um, you think is narcissistic, but may not be, and they're just toxic and stuff, please reach out to Dr. Ruth Ann Harper. She does that couple's shit for toxic fucking relationships. She gets a lot of fucking flack of people who want to stay with their partner. Well, guess what? She fucking helps the ones that aren't forever gone. And I always hit her up when I have an issue. So, haha, she's my personal savior. All right. So, I hope that was helpful. Oh, sorry, Mr. Chicken. Have a great day. Namaste.